Hello everyone. It's Tuesday. Now I don't know about you, but there are days when I wake up and I say, what day is it today? Is it Friday or is it Saturday? Well, today is Tuesday and it's April 14th, a very great day because two of my favorite people in the world were born on this day. For one, my niece Addie was born on this day. I love her. She is beautiful inside and out. And then my very, very dear, dear friend, Jen, her birthday is today too. And she too is beautiful inside and out. So it's beautiful people day. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, um, I do want to talk up some history today and I decided even to throw in a little bit of musical history. So let's get started. In 1860, the first Pony Express rider rode into San Francisco, and he had started at St. Joseph, Missouri, and he was dropping horses and mail and picking up horses and mail all that way. Whew. That must not, I think that, that must have been really difficult. I think I would have gotten saddle sore. Um, the next one, 1902, James Cash Penny opened his first retail store in Kemmerer, Wyoming, and he called it the Golden Rule Store. Well, I guess people got tired of calling it the Golden Rule Store. Instead, they decided to just call it Pennies. So that, yeah, 1902. That Pennies has been in, in business since 1902. And 1939, John Steinbeck. He published The Grapes of Wrath. Now that chapter about the turtle crossing the road, I'm not really sure about what he meant, but um, it was an interesting chapter, and the turtle didn't get killed. Okay, some birthdays besides Jen and Addie's birthdays. John Gielgud was born in 1904. John Gielgud, the great actor. Uh, Joan Darling, another actress, was born in 1935. Now, I was wondering if her, her name was really Darling. You know, sometimes you wonder those kinds of things, those stage names maybe. Well, I was right. She was not born Joan Darling. She was born Joan Kugel. I think I would have changed my name too. And Darling, why not? You know, okay. Um, for you Buffy the Vampire Slayer fans, Sarah Michelle Geller was born in 1977. So big shout out to all those birthdays out there. Uh, music history, sad day, George Frederick Handel died in 1759 on April 14th. And then, oh, but something good happened. 1960, Bye Bye Birdie was uh, first opened in NYC, the Big Apple. And then in 1963, for all you Beatles and Stones fans, the Beatles first met the Stones in 1963 on April 14th after a Stones concert. So anyway, that's our news for today. And um, like I was saying, I'll continue with the shout outs and some history. Uh, if you have any ideas, send them my way. We continue with online school. We are carrying forward. We're making it happen. Thank you, my scholars. Thank you, my colleagues. Thank you, my administrators. Thank you, my counselors. Thank you, everybody out there. Uh, friends and family for supporting all of us as we get our education done. Okay, keep up the good work, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow.